Hello ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to my all new video from USMLE to Residency and today we're gonna discuss the most common primary brain tumors commonly tested on the USMLE. So let the video begin, let's go to the next time. Yeah, uh, most common prim primary brain tumors in adults and I will also discuss most common primary brain tumors in children. So in this video I will tell you about uh, uh, some pictorial mnemonics to remember the most commonly tested uh, brain tumors on the USMLE and I will uh, tell you some uh, uh, memory aids to remember them and also I'll discuss the main features that are commonly tested on the USMLE okay so let's begin uh, first of all it's the it is most common primary brain tumors in adults so in adults uh, the most common uh, brain tumors that are also tested on the MLE are glioblastoma multiforme, meningioma, and acoustic neuroma. So these three are the most common primary brain tumors in adults. First of all is glioblastoma multiforme. So this is the most common primary brain tumor in adults and it has a very very pro poor prognosis. Uh, it is commonly found as you can see here in this MRI image it is commonly found on in one of the cerebral hemispheres it is usually uh, in the frontal or temporal or parietal lobes and uh, I will come to another slide to discuss it in more detail uh, but basically you have to remember that it is inside one of the cerebral hemispheres you will see this kind of a pattern on an MRI and the second one is meningioma and meningioma is uh, usually uh, it is a tumor of the meninges uh, it's a tumor of the arachnoid villi so uh, these two are images to represent uh, meningioma as you can see it is uh, growth uh, coming from the meninges and it is compressing the brain tissue here creating a cavity and all kinds of symptoms depending upon the area it compresses so uh, it will be seen uh, uh, around the convexity of the cerebral cortex or it can be in this box cerebri uh, making a parasagittal tumor or it can also be in the ophthalmic group uh, or uh, in the near the sphenoid bone uh, so these are the common places for a meningioma and third is the acoustic neuroma uh, this you can see in this MRI acoustic neuroma it is most commonly it is in the cerebello pontine angle and symptoms it causes is uh, uh, tinnitus and it can cause hearing loss um, mainly so uh, I made this mnemonic to remember the most common brain tumors it's grand mal epilepsy grand is for big guys grand big so you can remember most common brain tumor in adults grand mal epilepsy g for glioblastoma multiforme m for meningioma and a for acoustic neuroma uh, this e i have replaced with a so be careful and so let's move on to the next slide about uh, uh, brain tumors in children so here it is most common brain tumors in children the mnemonic is petit mal epilepsy here you don't have to worry about the a as it was in the previous slide it's pme only so p represents pilocytic astrocytoma m represents medulloblastoma and e represents ependymoma okay spellings of medulloblastoma are not right here because otherwise it would not have come inside the you know screen area so i've missed an l don't worry about that so most common brain tumors uh, in children are pilocytic astrocytoma, medulloblastoma and ependymoma. So yeah, in the question stem just be uh, whenever you suspect a question on brain tumors or neoplasm of the brain tissue, first of all just see the age of the patient straight away. See the age? If you see an adult patient 30, 32, 45, 50, just remember grand mal epilepsy, GMA glioblastoma multiforme, meningioma, acoustic neuroma. Ba and then uh, if there's a, a young patient like 12 year old, 8 year old, 
just remember petit mal epilepsy pilocytic astrocytoma medulloblastoma and ependymoma this way just look just by looking at the age of the patient you will know which three tumors should come to your mind first okay adult patient gma child pme okay after that how do you know which tumor it is either they're gonna give you an mri so or they're gonna give you a gross image or they're gonna give you uh, a microscopic HNE stain image or fourth they can give you symptoms so they can give you only uh, four things and you can easily identify which tumor it is from uh, an MRI image a cross image a microscopic image or symptoms so let's do them one by one uh, it's gonna be very very easy and uh, I can bet after viewing this video you will uh, answer every question about brain tumors on the USMLE okay so first of all grand mal uh, in adults grand mal epilepsy GMA glioblastoma multiforme so let me take to you, you to the slide for GMA yeah glioblastoma multiforme so as I said four things MRI cross image microscopic image and symptoms so glioblastoma multiforme on an MRI as I showed you looks like this uh, lesion uh, uh, cavity kind of a lesion in the cerebral hemispheres so let's see the gross image here it is so it will be uh, in one of the hemispheres and mostly it is not uh, doing that in this video but mostly it will be uh, expanding to the other side or the uh, other hemisphere also and herniating the brain tissue from one side to another compressing not compressing just herniating and uh, so you will see uh, an irregular mass soft irregular mass which is uh, having an areas of necrosis and hemorrhage inside it you can see here necrosis hemorrhage on macroscopic image and on microscopic image you will see uh, as you can see here there's a central area of necrosis surrounded by tumor cells and these uh, particular view or uh, appearance is called pseudo pseudopalociding cells okay so all you have to remember about glioblastoma multiforme which is the most commonly tested brain tumor on USMLE is uh, you will see a gross image like this with the uh, uh, hemispherical a tumor in one of the hemispheres which is having areas of necrosis and hemorrhage okay and microscopically you will see uh, this kind of an image with central necrosis and uh, surrounded by tumor cells which which is also called pseudo uh, arrangement and uh, it is a tumor of astrocytes you must know so and signs and symptoms will depend upon the area and it's usually in adults so pseudopalociding cells astrocytes mm, involvement of one of the hemispheres this will help you identify glioblastoma multiforme so next one we will uh, discuss this meningioma GM yeah meningioma as you can see this gross image men uh, meninges is covering this uh, this compressing this brain tissue and so there are three things you must remember in the meningioma that you will be uh, tested on or that will help you identify it is a meningioma first of all it's a tumor of arachnoid villi secondly it's a benign tumor C uh, it, the most important thing it has samoma bodies so, so these are lamellar structures seen microscopically these are they are found uh, in very few number of few number of tumors and most common of those are meningiomas in the brain and papillary thyroid carcinomas of the thyroid so these are the ones who have some samoma bodies and this meningioma it will compress compress the brain structures uh, where it is present and produce symptoms accordingly that a yeah, patient may present with history of seizures or uh, there may be if the tumor is parasagittal there would be contralateral paralysis of the limbs 
and symptoms may just vary depending on the comp structures it is compressing uh, mainly you will be asked uh, that patient has uh, paralysis or weakness in one limb or patient uh, has having seizures from some time and it's a slow growing tumor so the symptoms may be uh, like uh, having a duration of six months to a year even so these are the things that will help you identify your meningioma on the USMLE so just remember the A, B, C for meningioma, arachnoid villi, benign tumor, samoma bodies okay so that makes G, M and let's let's A I've not made a slide on A, it's not commonly tested but you must know it's a uh, saccharinoma uh, tumor of the eighth nerve uh, that's uh, and it is present in the cerebral lapontine angle and uh, obviously it's tumor of the eighth nerve so symptoms related to the eighth nerve tinnitus hearing loss all that kind of stuff so so most common primary brain tumors in adults gma uh, g stands for glioblastoma one is present in one of the hemispheres and uh, has pseudopolyciding cells, meningioma on the convexities or parasagitally and produces symptoms due to compression, slow growing, benign, has samoma bodies, remember the samoma, sam samoma bodies, okay, and acoustic neuroma. So these are the three primary brain tumors in adults, GMA, and the primary brain tumors in childhood, pilocytic astrocytoma, medulloblastoma, and ependymoma. Let's discuss them one by one in just we'll discuss only the important points that are commonly uh, tested or commonly tested on the USMLE. So let's begin with pilocytic astrocytoma. I made a slide for that. Yeah, here it is. Most commonly, they'll give an MRI, and you will just see a patient, um, eight-year-old, ten-year-old, twelve-year-old, a child. So you just have, uh, as I said in the beginning. Uh, if you're suspecting, uh, it's a question on neoplasm of the brain. So look at the age and you have to by looking at the age you will just uh, have a bell in your mind think about PME or think about GMA depending on the age after you have decided it's okay it's a kid so I'll think about PME so whether it's a pilocytic astrocytoma, medulloblastoma or pandemoma pilocytic astrocytoma uh, it's uh, commonly in the cerebellum but it can also be present in other uh, areas of the brain and Usually on MRI there is a cystic cavity with a solid nodule at the periphery, as you can see here. And this is most commonly what they will ask. Uh, no specific uh, microscopic uh, thing that I can uh, think of to discuss. And uh, next is this meningioma. Meningioma is a tumor of the vermis, of most commonly found in the vermis of the cerebellum. It's and it is found only in the cerebellum and it is uh, it is not never found out outside the cerebellum okay that's medulloblastoma and third is a pandemoma you can see here in the ventricles it is present most commonly you will be asked questions on pilocytic gastrocytoma or medulloblastoma so this was my short presentation on most uh, the t brain tumors commonly tested on the USMLE for adults GMA for kids, PME and glioblastoma remember pseudopalocyting cells and meningioma remember samoma bodies or a history of seizures or paralysis of one of the limbs and it would be a long history, six months to one year and pilocytic astrocytoma look for a cystic cavity with a solid nodule at the periphery uh, anything else? let me see, I don't think so mm. I guess this medulloblastoma is uh, very much uh, malignant compared to pilocytic astrocytoma and it's more dangerous compared to this yeah and if you want to know the most common highly malignant tumor then this would come first but based on the frequency of appearance this is more common pilocytic astrocytoma <coughs> so this was about it and these are the uh, the things I've told in this video are things that are most commonly tested. These are the only uh, questions you will find. And uh, these are the symptoms or microscopic, microscopic or MRI images. I mean, not these exact images, but these kind of images you will encounter. 
so this was my small presentation and analysis on the brain tumors and I hope you liked it next time I'll make video on some other good topic that I find uh, small and worth sharing uh, till then if you're new to my channel don't forget to click the subscribe button below and do rate comment subscribe and don't forget to give thumbs up to me if you like this video and I will see you next time in a new video on some new topic Till then, have a great time guys, God bless you, goodbye.